Hello, welcome back to the Blank Center series. So today we are going to solve a question, a very interesting question that is a reverse linked list. Okay, so you are given this linked list and you are provided a head and you have to reverse this linked list. Okay, so the given linked list is let's say one, which is pointing to two, two is pointing to three, three is pointing to four and four is pointing to five. And here head is one. Okay, we have to reverse this linked list and we have to return the new head. So after reversing this linked list, the linked list will look like something five, which is points to four, four is pointing to three, three is pointing to two, and two is pointing to one. And this five is a new head. Okay. So this is what we have to do. And let's see how can we solve this. Okay, so we have a linked list. The linked list is one, which is pointing to two, which is pointing to three which is pointing to four, which is pointing to five. And of course this five is pointing to null because this five is last node. Okay, and this is our head. All right, so in order to solve this question, okay, in order to solve this question, I will use three pointers. Okay, so I will use a previous pointer which is pointing to null right now. Okay. I will use a current pointer, which is pointing to this head. I will use a current next. Let's name it different. Uh, let's name it previous. And uh, let's name it just a second. Where is the color? C next. Okay, let's name it C next. Okay, because if I will name it current next, it will confuse you with current arrow next. So I don't want to confuse you. So let's name it C next. Okay. So C next represent the next value of the current. Okay. Oh, let me erase this. Let me rewrite it again. Let me erase head from here for simplicity because we know that current is pointing to head. Okay, so the pointer name is C next, which is currently pointing to null. All right, C next. Okay, let's start the algorithm. Okay, so algorithm goes something like first, I will give a value to this C next. Okay, I will give a value to this. So I will write something like C next equals to current next. Okay. So this C next is now pointing to the next of the current that is this two. Okay. Perfect. So this is no longer pointing to null. Okay. This is our first, first line of the code. So I'm just writing a pseudo code here. Okay. The next, what we will do is we will just let me change my color. Okay. So now the next line will be current next will point to previous. Okay. So what I'm doing here is I am dismantling this bond. Okay. I am, I'm removing this bond and I am creating a new bond that is this. Now this current next pointer, the next of this current pointer is pointing to previous. So it is pointing to this null now. Okay. All right. So our next line of code will be something like previous will be equal to current. Okay. So now I will shift this previous by one. So now our previous no longer points to this null Our previous, our previous points here. Okay. Now our current and previous points to the same node. Okay. Now the next line will be current is equals to just a second. Where is the eraser? Current is equals to C next. Okay. So now this current is no longer pointing to this node. It is pointing to the next node of it. That is this C next. 
where it is yeah so this is a new current okay this is how the algorithm goes this is the pseudo code okay now we have to run these steps again and again till our previous is not null okay we have to run these steps okay so now again same steps so this current next is equals to current of next sorry the next of the current okay so the eraser is here so c next is no longer pointing here so now c, uh, c next points to the next of the current that is this okay the current next the current next points to the previous all right so the current next this thing points to the previous so it points here and now we are shift we are going to shift previous and current by one okay so now previous will point to the current and now this current will point to the next c next okay and again our previous is still not null so we are going to sorry our current is still not null we have to run this loop sorry we have to run these steps till our current is not null okay so our current is still not null so we are going to continue the steps okay so what we have to do next we have to change this c next pointer so c next will point to the next of the current that is here okay let me write it again c next is pointing here now what we have to do next current next is pointing to previous so this this arrow is no longer present now this current is pointing to the previous okay now previous is equals to current all right so let's remove this previous from here and this now this previous points here okay current is pointing to c next okay so this current now points now points to this c next okay our current is still not null so again let's continue with these steps so c next will point to the next of the current so which means here the next of the current will point to previous so we will remove this arrow because now our current no longer points to five now it points to this three which is previous okay so now previous is equals to current previous will point here and our current is no longer pointing to this four it is pointing to c next that is this so our current is pointing to this okay and our current is still not null so we will continue so c next now will point to the next of the current that is this null so our c next is now points to null okay now the next of the current is pointing to previous so so this five no longer points so this null this five now points to four okay and previous is equals to current so this previous is now points to current okay and now the current points to c next so now this current is no longer pointing to this five and is pointing to this c next okay now our current points to null so now we can stop our code okay as you guys can see now we have successfully reversed our length list right and now what is a new head our new head is this previous okay this previous pointer is our new head now we can simply return previous from here as a new head okay so this is what this is how the algorithm works okay and the algorithm runs in what o of n time complexity correct okay
So let's see how the code works. Okay, so this is our question, reverse link list. Let's see. First, I will create three pointers, right? So I have to create three pointers, list, node. So our first pointer will be current, which is pointing to head. Second pointer will be previous, which is pointing to null. And third pointer will be the next, which is also pointing to null right now. Okay. While current is there, right? While current is true, while current is not null, we can also write something like not equal to null. Okay. But I prefer this. Okay. While current is not null, what we have to do first, we have to do C next is equals to the next of the current. Okay. Then we have to do current next is equals to previous. Okay. Then we have to step up the previous by one. Okay. The previous is equals to current and this current is equals to C next. And at the end, we can simply return previous from here. Okay. Now let's run it. It is getting accepted. Okay. Let's submit it. All right. It is getting submitted. So yeah. That's all about this video. I hope you understood the question. It is a very simple question and yet very important. Okay. So yeah, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and keep coding till the next video drops.